And Valentine's Day, of course, often means those traditional gifts, things like chocolate and flowers, making it a really busy day for florists. And that is especially true for a Montgomery County business with a new take on roses. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Brewer shows us where this idea stems from. From balloons and blooms to love you can taste at Penny's Flowers in Glenside, preparing for Valentine's Day can be a bit hectic. Oh, it's good crazy. We live for this. This second generation family run business expects to design and deliver over 10,000 flowers. I feel good because it's just something when you present flowers, you get 100%. Penny's may be a community staple, but as an extra item business, the last five years have been a little rough. We've lost about 44 florists in our Philadelphia market in the last five years that were part of our delivery co-op. But this year should be better. According to the National Retail Federation, Americans will spend $1.7 billion on Valentine's Day flowers, up 12% from last year. Bob expects a 50% increase. It's on a weekday instead of a weekend. We had a blizzard last year and it's just the economy and things are so much better now. But through it all, the sentiment remains the same. I want to surprise my wife with something nice. I came in today to pick up tulips for my daughter. What are you getting? Uh, some chocolates. And just as important as the flowers themselves is the message that goes along with it. But if you're not sure what to say to your sweetie, let Speaking Roses say it for you. Basically, it's putting a message right on the rose. This year's hottest seller featured not one, but 12 ways to say I love you. It's something neat. It's very new to our market, and we're just in the beginning stages, but it, we can just see it blossoming. And with any luck, his business will too. I'm Nicole Brewer, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Wow.